guys are getting paid? I think I shall call him Adam. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> yeah, that, that oh, works. I like All right. That okay. All right, moving, yeah. moving on. Hey, what about Tulip? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the show last night. Go check out the Friday the 13th review, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, if you have not yet. Today, though, we are back on the Marvel topic, ladies and gents, only because we had some casting news drop last night, yesterday. We talked about it a little bit during the show, but Guardians of the Galaxy 3 cast Will Poulter as Adam Warlock. For those of you who don't know who Will Poulter is, Kenny, we are the Millers. Uh, apparently, he was in Maze Runner, uh, some other things. I'm not too familiar with his work. Um, I'm not going to come on full on and insult this casting. It just seems is, it's a little off, all things considered. All the other actors that they rumored to play uh, Adam Warlock from the moment we saw that final uh, post credit scene in Guardians of the Galaxy with the Sovereign. So we, we knew this was coming down the pipe, but we didn't think it would be, you know, uh, what, six years later? until the movie came out and then you know they're casting him now I, I don't know where the shooting where it is in in process but let's get into this article screenrant.com this is by thomas macon bacon uh 14 hours ago adam warlock has been cast will poulter winning the coveted role from marvel and james gunn there's uh, the comic iteration of adam warlock marvel has cast will poulter the revenant and detroit he was in the revenant i fell asleep during most of that movie so it explains why i don't remember him as Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the third film in James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy series, was initially supposed to launch Marvel's Phase 4, but plans went awry when some of Gunn's old social media posts resurfaced, and he was briefly fired by Disney. Uh, Guardians 3 is set to start filming later this year, ahead of its release date in 2023. Let's, let's talk about why James Gunn was fired and what social media posts resurface after years. I'm not going to talk about it because we know and YouTube hates that kind of language because God knows you can't tell the truth about Hollywood and their uh, rather illegal and weird and disgusting proclivities because we, we, must, uh, we mustn't, mustn't speak uh, ill of those you know up in their ivory towers, but let them call us plebs, right? Marvel is being typically secret about the plot. Still, it's generally been assumed it will pick up where Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 left off with Aisha of the Sovereign creating a powerful being to use as a weapon against the Guardians. Aisha had created a birthing pod that radiated cosmic energy, and she believed the being within would be the ultimate evolution of her race. She named him Adam, and viewers immediately realized Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2's post-credit pointed to the introduction of the MCU's Adam Warlock. You alright, Meech? I had a 23-pound cat fall off a tower onto a TIE fighter, and he's okay. Adam Warlock is one of the most powerful superheroes in the Marvel comic book universe. Now, with the production of Guardians 3 soon to begin, Deadline is confirmed Marvel Studios will cast Will Poulter, as I said before, The Revenant in Detroit, as Adam Warlock. Apparently, Marvel conducted a lengthy search to find the right actor. Poulter and several other actors were called in for additions. Since late August, James Gunn and Marvel execs have reportedly discussed this and eventually decided Poulter's test was too good to pass on. The reports have been confirmed by Gunn himself, who welcomed Poulter to the team on Twitter. And I showed that tweet in the opening. That was the scene in the end of Guardians 2. When the Guardians of the Galaxy made their big on-screen debut in 2014, they were unlike anything comic book readers had seen before. Gunn seems to be taking the same kind of creative, inventive approach with Adam Warlock because Poulter doesn't feel like the comic book character at all. Uh -huh. But then, the MCU's Adam Warlock will be very different from the comics. There, he's a super-evolved human being. And he became bonded with the Mind Stone. The Infinity Stones were destroyed by Thanos in the Avengers Endgame meaning Adam Warlock's most significant comic book arc can't happen in the MCU with Thanos having been killed when Tony Stark snapped his fingers. Adam Warlock's greatest foe has already been taken off the table. And this is what Marvel does. Uh, this is exactly what they do. You know, they, they throw things out of whack. And they're not Infinity Stones. They're Infinity Gems. The MCU, they're Infinity Stones in the comic. They're Infinity Gems. So, I just, just ticky-tacky. I've read the Infinity Saga. It's great. It is fucking awesome. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 seemed to set up Adam Warlock as an antagonist to the Guardians, rather than as an ally. He was created by Aisha as a weapon to be used against them, after all. Still, worth noting, 
The space-faring superheroes may have had a power-up given Thor has been traveling with the Guardians. Star-Lord may resent the God of Thunder, but he may well have good reason to be thankful for his presence in Guardians 3. Because that's what heroes do. Adam Warlock cast the MCU as Will Poulter is a far cry from the rumors and everything that's circulating around as far as casting rumors for Adam Warlock. It went since 2017, since we got that reveal of the birthing pod, you know, in the Sovereign and Aisha and all that. You know, the Infinity Saga in the comics, Adam Warlock, a far cry from what he's going to be in the MCU. Basically, as they already said, his number one nemesis, Thanos, already dead. Already dead. So Marvel is going to have to scramble and uh, throw shit at the wall and see what sticks to make this character fit into that. And that seems to be their general theme moving forward. Casting, though, uh, Nicolaj Coster Waldo who is Jamie Lannister in Game of Thrones, was Jamie Lannister in Game of Thrones, I think looks the part more, although he's 51. Will Poulter probably, I don't I didn't look to see how old Will was, but he's obviously far younger than that. I believe that they should have went with somebody else who may be a little more physically imposing. Not necessarily huge, but a, a bigger presence. Now, that's not to say that uh, Will Poulter can't you know gain some mass for the role, but... They're not going to do that because they want this all-new, all-stunning, all-brave Marvel. And they'll probably make him smaller than, you know, most of the females. And he'll be, you know, constantly, you know, berated and belittled and, and shown up by them. Because that's what Phase 4 is all about. This movie is supposed to kick off Phase 4. Now, we saw in What If Gamora from a galaxy, uh, a multiverse, I'm sorry, a universe where she had already killed Thanos. So, so that's not out of the realm of possibility here. And of course, she'll probably take Adam Warlock, flick him, and knock him across the galaxy or something because men bad. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I kid. But this this casting, it is. It's, it's interesting from a standpoint of... I really like the casting decisions they make. Um, yeah, in the early stages, most of them have been spot on. Uh, you know, even down to some of the, a lot of the ancillary characters, like the Collector, Benicio Del Toro, phenomenal. And yes, he is an ancillary character. But this this is going to be probably a mainstay character in the MCU for a while. So I don't know how or why they were like, hey, look, remember that kid who played the dumbass and We're the Millers? Let's 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 bring him in to play Adam Warlock because that's that's what people are clamoring for. But, you know, Marvel, and here here come the MCU stands. Trust in Marvel. Marvel always knows best. What do you know? You're just a bigot incel. I'm honestly shocked they didn't race swap him. You know, uh, I'm surprised Grace Randolph wasn't out, you know, wanting Idris Elba or Michael B. Jordan to play Adam Warlock. Well, sh it is. It's it's humorous. This this casting. It's it's odd. It's an odd time. Marvel is just in a weird place right now, because you have all these projects on Disney Plus coming out, and they're all shit. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was garbage. Loki was garbage. What if was trash? I mean, it was the hey, let's ruin Tony Stark even more show on What If. So, moving forward, why would I have any faith in anything they're doing? Shang Chi was boring. I don't care what you say. I don't. I, I will I will die on this hill. Shang Chi was boring. I've never fallen asleep during a Marvel movie, especially in a theater. You know, and, and this one put me to sleep during one of their long exposition dump flashback sequences that was just boring as hell. And I'm laughing because the MCU stands are insulting Venom 2, let there be carnage for the CGI, but they're on the other hand, sitting there and talking about how amazing the CGI was in Shang-Chi, which it wasn't. It was shit. So, where, what, what do you... There's no baseline for sanity here. So, basically, at this point, does this off-the-wall casting make sense to rational thinking people? No. Does it make sense to people who are like, Oh my God, Marvel, yes. Yes, Queen, slay. Slay, Queen. That's, that's basically what we, we're getting here now is that kind of response. And the stands, you know, that consume product, get excited for next product. That's what we're with. That's what we're dealing with here now in the MCU. So now it's your turn. Like I said, I, I'm, I don't mean to completely shit all over to poo-poo this casting preliminarily because I haven't seen this kid's body of work outside of We Are The Millers. So like I said, it's a lot of what I do. It's jokes, it's fun. And if you 
take that too hard. It, they're jokes, not a dick. All right, relax. Uh, but seriously, um, <laughs> let me know what you think. It's your turn to opine. Let me know in the comments below. Are you in favor of this? Have you seen Will Poulter and anything else that might make you think, wow, this guy's good enough to be in this movie, uh, capable of playing this role? Like I said, I've seen The Revenant, but how impactful was he in that? I don't even fucking remember him being in the movie. And I slept through most of it because it was boring as fuck. Um, but that's it, guys. That's guys and gals. Uh, what do you think? Like I said, opine in the comments below. Be sure to slap the like button on the way out. If today's the day I've earned it, please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Always, always, always appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who's on the Teespring store buying the merch. Uh, link in the what about section of the channel. Uh, until tonight, you can catch me over on Supreme Heretics channel. 6.40 Eastern Time for Rogue Squadron. And then... Uh, 8 p.m. I'll be over on my brother Tony Tone Def's channel reviewing the Monday Night Wars. We're in November. It's the Go Home Show before a Survivor Series. Please check us out over there and subscribe to all the channels that I frequent as a guest because they are wonderful content creators and support your favorite content creators by liking and sharing their videos as well and making sure you're still subscribed. Until I see you again, I'm Etep Queen of The Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, it's always better to burn out than fade away.